Hey everyone, we're back with more Deadbolt. Um, I had a ton of fun with it, uh, as I'm sure you all noticed. I was I was having a blast in the video. Um, so we're gonna hop back in and continue on. Uh, load game and hope that it loads where we were. Did we? Yep. Okay. So yeah, we already went to the docks and talked to. As I've been informed, the name is Karen, what, or Karen maybe. I don't know. Doesn't seem right to me, but that's what I was told. Um, it is Greek, so I mean it's not. Do I have to go talk? Do I have to go back to the fire? Did the fire not like register? Because I don't have a mission to choose. Okay. The flames roar to life, and I see visions inside. The fireplace began to speak. Flesh caskets breathe, burn the ash, scatter their teeth. I'm trying to do voices, and they're not going to go well, and it's not going to go well for a while, but I'm going to try. Uh. I see two entrances to the house. The left entrance has less zombies, but the right entrance has more weapons. My choice. I see visions of Karen, the ferryman. He may be interested in the souls I've collected for our mutual employer. Do we know who that is? Is it the fire? Am I hired by the fire? I assume there's something like beyond the fire, like some weird magic Harry Potter fire where you can talk through it or something, but still. I should see him at the docks before my next mission. Karen, okay, so yeah, we, are, we already saw all this. Um, can I do the next mission now? Because I already talked to him. I have the knife. There we go, okay. Oh, I, okay, so we're doing that mission. Okay, so the left side has less zombies, right side has more weapons. I have a 32 revolver. I don't have my knife, and I don't know why. Uh, there we go. Oh, that's cool. The mirror actually works. That's one of my favorite details in video games, is when like things like mirrors work. And the fact that they put the time into making the mirror work in this game is really cool. Um, okay. So there's stuff up there we want to get. Um, let's see, where does this lead? So this is just here. And what about this way? Burn whatever that is. Is there a vent somewhere here? Nope, okay. Um, I wish I had a melee weapon right now. So that I could melee that guy to death. I don't want to shoot him. That's a lot of bullets I don't want to waste. Go up here. Let's see what we can do now. Shoot him. What do we got? We got one bullet left. I guess he's coming up now. So in that case, we go down. I need to find a gun now. Or a weapon of some sort. How do we get in that vent? Okay, can't see a way immediately. Oh no! Okay. Turn that off. Okay, so it looks like I could still melee with an empty hand, so maybe I could punch this guy to death. Nope! <laughs> nope! Okay, that's not an option. All right, let's try this again. Turn that off. There we go, and that gets us a second gun. Do they 
never run out of bullets, but if they don't, I'm in a bad position. Ah, oh, I tried to close the door and I didn't get to it in time. Okay. Alright, and that's the point of this game is that it's going to be difficult. Burn. once that's unfortunate pick up the gun okay that's cool so we're able to pick up like fill up my first gun Oh man, that's just rude. Okay. So I'm having better luck going this way. It's still not going great though. Okay. I want to see if I could, really, was really the objective there. Nope, wasted a bullet there, so turns out it didn't actually matter, but. Okay, let's see if we can go down and kill this guy with our three remaining bullets. Let's wait for him to turn around. The answer is no. No, I can't. Oh, that door is open. Okay. So I have to go like ham on a biscuit if I want to kill this guy. There you go. Took five of my shots. Pick that up. Honestly, I'll swap for a knife so I can stab. Yeah. Nope, I forgot to hit the right-click button, so I didn't actually shoot my shotgun. Alright. Burn, pick up. Alright, so now I have a question. If I... Okay, I don't stab if I'm holding my thought off. Um, and I left-click. Alright, go this way now, Let's see they still got knife guy over there, which I'm not a fan of, but, or not knife guy, see I wish I had like a ranged gun, oh boy, Oh, see, there's a vent down there. I should try and use that. There we go. Still got two bolts left in that. Where does this take me? Okay, I can go here or here. that up. So I do believe, no, I just have to burn all the piles. I'll probably have to kill all the undead afterwards, but I can at least focus on the main objective first. Okay. And we're going to wait here for him to see if he comes up. Come on, buddy. You can do it. Get on up. Nope. Stab it as fast as I can. Now I was hoping the sound might attract him. Stabbing the wall doesn't make noise. Okay. There we go. Got him dead. See what we can't do about. That. Oh. 
Oh, cool. So I get to go back to my car now. I don't have to kill all the zombies. I do think I get more souls, but then I risk failing and resetting. But if we go back down, like, the main way, it'll be easier, I feel. And I do have a full gun of ammo, so it's not, like, that bad of an idea. Alright, let's see what we can do. See if we can't get... Because I think I get more souls if I kill the zombies. Which I then can buy guns and stuff with. Wow, that second zombie was, um, not observant, to say the least. No, I hit up! Man, since that was the risk I took. I also, and I didn't click that I wouldn't be able to shoot the other zombie through the first one, but I guess that's just my bad. Alright, now we can use this vent. Take me up here. Yep, come on up. Just come to the meat grinder. There we go. It's kind of like the butcher shop, but that wouldn't make sense. And this is why I'm not using any of my bullets on these guys. Which is always nice. Alright. They're dead. Oh, I forgot to perox. Now I can go down here. Burn the ashes. Just kill that guy because it's an easy kill. Um, let's knock. There we go. Go up. Oh, nope. Didn't see him sneaking up on me. Okay. See, now I'm just trying to have fun with this. I'm just trying to do this in a whole bunch of different ways that make it fun. Nope, don't want to go in here yet. want to kill this guy. I mean, yeah, this vent worked really well last time. Uh, grab that. Burn that. Space. Grab that. Climb up the vents to here. Or I murder you a lot. Glad they gave me time to get over here this time. Oh! Man, I was too focused on that guy. I wonder why he heard me that time. That was weird. I feel like that didn't happen last time. Alright. Maybe I should time it better so that he's... There's not someone like right on the other side of this door when I start stabbing. There we go. Just like that. Alright, then this first zombie here should come up, and then once I stab him repeatedly, the others will hear. And I can stab them as much as I want. Oh, right, I can throw knives, I forgot about that. done. Okay, get that full gun. I think I'll just kill those two on the first floor there, and then just get out. As much as the, uh... Well, this is a long video for being one episode. Holy cow. Or one mission, I mean. Um... Like, the bonus souls would be nice, but it's too risky to do this again. Get those two, and then hop out. Alright, cool. So yeah, I don't know, maybe this will be a long episode, we'll see. I mean, it, I mean, no, it's not a long one yet, it's just longer than I expected. Ooh. Five star, or, yeah, five stars for a total of 100 souls. Alright, nothing in 
particularly new. Light switch doesn't do anything. We can go to the docks. See, I don't get... I, I want to use my weapon. But I don't know how to. I don't know how to select that before the mission starts. But let's go to the docks because we can buy a gun now. We can buy a new gun. Let's go talk to Karen down here. Another problem that just kind of occurred to me as far as doing voices. Um, I have to remember them and I won't. Um, right, I can't buy any like the big guns yet. I could do tactical SMG, um, which actually might be a really good idea, but I guess we'll see. I'm thinking death or taxes or tactical SMG is what kind of what I'm feeling right now. Let's do the tactical SMG. Let's see how that goes. All right. Thank you, Karen. Let's go back and see if we can figure out how to equip these things. Is there like a button here that I missed? Like as far as like equipment or something? No. I don't see how I equip these weapons. Is there something over here? Nope, this is just the music and cassettes that I can listen to. Let's talk to the fire. Maybe um, maybe the fire will have some answers. Flame, you see the visions of a man. Puff. The magic dragon? Look, there we go. No moment to flee. He should not be here. A man with a heart. Cannot live with me. Mission unlocked. Intel. Okay, and then we get a puff thing. The candles tell me that Puff keeps an old machine gun in his basement. I don't know why this is going to be an old machine. Whatever. Something he stole from the Trideads? Is that Trideads? Is that their name of the zombies in this game? I'm sure it still works. And then... Shadows cast along the wall and the flames show me silhouettes of Puff's death. This is the first time my employer has given me a specific target. And I succumb to the thrill. Mission unlocked. Okay. I still don't... Let me pick my guns. What if I go to achievements? No, this just tells me the achievements I've gotten. Which is actually cool that that's here. Oh, they give you achievements when you complete souls. Okay, that's kind of cool. I like that. I like when the games give you, like, incentive to do the achievements other than just for achievements. Um, so we're going to do this one. Go deal with Puff, the magic zombie. Okay. Roland. Pick up. Nope, nothing. Okay. Change weapons. Okay, you go to the car. That's how you do it. Okay. Is there any vents out here that I can use? Nope. Okay. So we're gonna wait for this guy to turn around. There we go, and with the silenced. Where does this lead? Ugh, that's a scary place to lead. Hit the wrong button, so we're gonna wait for this guy to loop back around. Nice, okay. Pick up the Tommy gun. Okay, we can't burn these ones. Okay, they got me. There's a lot of them, holy cow. Once again, wait for this guy to turn around. Okay, I think we're gonna hold on. We're gonna tactical SMG here and then get the Tommy gun. Nope, we're not, because that does nothing to him. Okay. Nice. 
No, we don't have enough bullets left. All right. SMG. What if we like? Cause, okay, I'm gonna test something. Okay. I want to see if when I popped out of the vent, if I was on it, would it kill him? The answer is it doesn't. Okay, got him. Get that Tommy gun. Oh, well, now I have literally nothing. Nope, okay. I, I don't see if there... I don't know if there's actually a way out of that. Okay. So now we're going to use this tactical gun to kill baby zombie here. Go. So he comes down here. Go get his, he has a special knife for him. Oh, I thought I could knife him. Oh, maybe it was the hammer. Maybe the hammer just does more damage than the knife. I thought I could knife him to death. I did pause for a second, but still. Tommy gun. We're gonna give the knife one more try. Nope, okay. Confirmed. I did it as fast as I could. And uh, it did not kill him. Alrighty then. So now that we have that figured out. Oh, I forgot about. Can we knife him? Oh, I tried to get in the vent. It didn't work. I forgot about using the tactical SMG on that guy. So I was trying to improvise. And it didn't work. Turn on the light. Oh, can I like go back in and get my uh, revolver now? Maybe. Yeah. Wrong side of the door. I'm hard. I tried really hard. They take a lot of bullets. Let's try something new this time. Alright, get the, uh... Get this fine individual. Grab the Tommy gun. Oh, well, no, because he can only have a primary and a secondary. Also, okay, I can't anyway. That's good to know. Anchor them all down. Okay. Oh, there's Puff moving around. He's back up. Right, it kind of makes sense that there's one bodyguard with Puff, but it's annoying for me. What are these guys about to do? Okay, that's what I was afraid of. So we're gonna kinda see where they end up settling. So right now I'm in a really bad position. No, I tried to shoot them.
Oh, come on. Really? I know what the mission objective is, game. I know that I have to kill Puff. I'm just bad at it. Oh, come on! Give me this. This is all nothing. Wow, I can actually get a lot more damage than I thought. Okay, green guy. If you could move. I say green guy, you're all green. Check drawers. The desk has a filing cabinet. Maybe there's useful information in there. Home files. Oh god. Uh, yeah, exit. Okay. Um, I pulled the filing cabinet. There are two separate tabs. Stuff. Tabs will lose papers. Basic financing. A letter outlining Puff's frustration in the gang. A poorly drawn picture of a naked vampire. Oop. Labeled important people. There are addresses scribbled across the top. 5314 21st and 4th, 1016 Street under. There must be an address at Zombie King's house. Useful. Uh, Indistinguishable scribbles. And then more stuff. Uh, you pull open the drawer, and inside is a pamphlet and an embossed coin. Alright. And I assume that this just leads here, yeah. And again, we could try and kill him, but why bother when we could just get out of here? Puff is done. That took me so many tries. I, there's no way I got five stars on that. Yep, four. Because in the end, I did a good job, but it took me 11 tries, and that's not good. Alright. Cool. Uh, so that's it for the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and share. Subscribe if you have to date with future uploads, and hopefully you'll tune in next time.